today I'm going to be reacting to the best player in the world. You may know him. His name is Dark. He's from Saudi Arabia. He is hitting the craziest and most mechanical clips anyone has ever seen. Let's get straight into this because it's going to blow your mind. All right, here we go. These are Dark's best clips. This man is absolutely ridiculous. Off the ceiling, pre-flip into a reset, into another reset top corner. And that isn't even the best of what he can do. Just watch. Pops this one up, floats with it, reset. Pogo! Around him, bro, of course, man. This guy is insane. All right, he takes the ball, left wall, see what he does. Pops this one up. That first touch is elite. That, that, take it back, take it back. This first touch is so much harder than you guys think it is, man. This is crazy. Reset, to the right, back in. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, he gets a free ball, Fennec. Takes to the corner. Well, dude, this touch right here. This touch right here. If he hits this ball, if he turns into it and hits this ball, it's going to bounce up, giving him an awkward setup. So he jumps here while turning. That way he gets the boost. And because he jumps, the ball stays on the ground because he's slightly above the ball, right? Now it stays on the ground. Gives him a decent setup. Pre-flipping. Oh my gosh, he got the reset. He pre-flipped the reset. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. Zap dash to get some speed. Flip reset. World of tanks. Yo, cut this out of the video. Don't leave this in the video. Cut this out. So he gets the flip reset. No way he po- Oh my gosh, bro. He pogoed off the ground into the- That is ridiculous. I didn't even think he could do that. Get save up the wall. This first touch is cracked. That first touch is crazy. To not only make the save, but hit it in a direction that allows his momentum to follow the ball, get the boost, and then take it off the ceiling here. This is cracked. You freeze frame it here, right, guys? You freeze frame it here and you go, there is no player in the world who is taking this ball and scoring from it. 76 boost in the corner. He's above the ball, so the ball can't go up anymore. He's above it, right? Let's see what he does. Reset. Pogo. Musty flick off the face. Oh my god. That is unbelievable, man. He turns literally any ball into a goal. I right, takes it back to his corner. That recovery is clean. Keeps the wave dash. Wow, what speed, bro. No people wouldn't even attempt going from that angle. That's a nice reset, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Hunter boost spawns on him, immediately takes it in the air. That that is very confident. Reset. Utilize it. Man, that is that is gross. Cause like, let's take it back here. Let's take it back. Right? The ball is awkward. He did not set this up himself. The ball is awkward, and he's coming from an off angle. So, like, even though he's going for a full court air dribble into flip reset, that's not that difficult. I can do that as well pretty easily. I score the majority of the time. But to be able to take it when the ball's already coming down off an awkward setup, and the setup ball doesn't even go that high. Like, he has to get back to this with a flip. The ball's already coming down. To think someone's going to score this is ridiculous. This guy is phenomenal, man. That reset is just, it's so nice, man. He has to get the flip reset while also not killing the ball, okay? So with this flip reset right here, guys, he has to get a flip reset that doesn't kill the ball's momentum and bring him down. Because if that happens, he's going to be flip resetting about maybe a second more towards that guy's net, a little bit further. Um, he's going to keep flying. He's going to have to reset. This guy's going to save that every time because obviously it's very low to the ground. It's very far away. He can't get power. But with this reset here, he kind of like hits all four of his wheels at a different time, which sends the ball forward. It doesn't slow the ball down and it allows him to use his reset to catch up back to the ball while keeping the ball's momentum. So now the ball is going fast and is closer to his net, which means he gets to shoot the ball really hard. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that is the level of mechanics this guy is displaying. This is not a basic flip reset. There is an extra added layer here that makes it ridiculous that maybe you guys aren't seeing. I'm hoping to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on here. All right, it's a free ball, left wall. Popping it off, Pogo. Into the ball, bro. That, is, dude, I need to learn how to do that, man. That is disgusting. Up the left wall. Uses his camera to check where that guy's at. Nah, nah. The wall dash to get some speed here is gross. So he utilizes his camera right there to check where the guy's at. He goes, okay, I have time and space. He gets this boost, but he needs to get back to this ball with speed before the ball starts going down off the wall. Because once it goes down off the wall, it's hard to get a setup with much speed on it. It's a lot harder to score. But he doesn't want to use much boost to get back to the ball because he needs it for the solo play. So what does he do? He goes for the wall dash to get his speed back. That way he's still on 80 boost. And then he goes to the solo play. And what does he do? Flip reset, top corner every freaking time. This guy is so consistent. What? One soft pop here, probably towards the midfield. 
Mizu reset? Yup. Easy. Easy. Classic Mizu reset, bro. That's very smart from Dark there. Control. Double reset. Top corner. Oh my gosh. It's just so controlled. You guys got to realize, man, this is so impossible for the defender, right? Because he's popping it up. The defender can't challenge it because he's not in position, right? But now the defender's in a position to challenge, but Dark has a flip reset. So the defender can't just go because it, the second the defender jumps, he's no longer covering his net. Dark puts it in the back of the net with the flip reset. But now there's a window of opportunity because the ball is falling down, right? So if Dark doesn't shoot this at some point soon, it's going to fall down and there's no threat because the ball's pretty far from the net and it's close to the ground. The defender can just challenge because Dark can't get height. So what does Dark do? He uses his flip to get another flip to stall time to get it closer to this guy's net. Now it's threatening because the ball's right in front of the net with his second reset, okay? Now this guy is screwed because if he challenges, he can't cover the whole net. He leaves the top corner open. If he doesn't challenge, Dark can just put it anywhere in the net. He's got to guess like a penalty shot. That is what I'm talking about when I'm saying Dark is so not only mechanical, but intelligent. He's using his mechanics to get more options. And then if his option runs out, he uses his mechanics to get another option. And it's just so impossible for the defender to defend against this. And then the second he jumps, he sees this guy jump. He's like, okay, you jump, you, you gave me top left corner. It's open. Thank you very much. Goal every time. It, it's ridiculous the level of consistency this guy's showing. Great first touch. Now he's got space and time. Pops it up. Flip reset. Again, the defender can't challenge. So Dark gets his flip reset early. He doesn't float to the ball and take his time. He gets the reset early. Now he's got all the options in the world. He can double touch this, take a touch, musty, ground pinch. He can go for an air dribble bump. He can air dribble it basically and fake it. Like he's all the options here. He sees the defender backing off. He knows he has time. He's like, Pogo. I guarantee you Dark goes for a Pogo here and he's probably gonna go top right. Dude, I didn't even read that. He faked the pogo, the plan B, whatever it's called, and he used this flip to hit the ball. That is disgusting because this defender also thought he was going top right. And that's why he pre-jumped. His momentum was taking him over here. Nah, this guy's gross, man. Even as a pro player, I can't read him. I can't read him. It's ridiculous. I don't know what he's doing until after he's done his play. Low boost, pogo again. He's just so consistent. It's ridiculous. Nah, nah, he's winning by one goal with two seconds, and he's going for a solo play. He doesn't care. The guy like me, I'm a rat. I'm keeping it in the corner. I'm not letting this guy, I'm not letting this guy win. Dark said, nah, the best chance I have at winning is going for a solo play and scoring. I guarantee he's about to score this on zero seconds, bro. He doesn't care. He knows he's so mechanically doesn't care. Let's watch. Zero seconds now. Early reset, like we talked about. Double reset. Get it closer to the net. He utilizes it early because the guy's getting in the top corner. This is insanity, man. Pops it up. Early flip reset. Guy's jumping. Pops it over his head. That is insane, man. You guys don't know what he did here, okay? Dark pops his ball up because he has space early. He watches for the pre-jump. He goes, okay, this guy's not pre-jumping yet. I have time to go for a flip reset, okay? So he gets the flip reset. Now he sees, oh my God, this guy's pre-jumping. So I'm going to fake it, right? I'm going to fake it. I'm going to go low because the guy's pre-jumping. And then he sees that the guy turns his car. So he's like, if I fake it, the guy's going to dunk me. So I'm just going to use my reset and score the goal. And he goes over his head. And he, he doesn't only use a reset. He flip cancels the reset to turn it into an air dribble that he hits over the guy's head. How do you defend this? How, how, how do you defend that? I don't know, man. If I played dark, I'd actually probably just cry. I don't know. All right. So he gets the hundred. He goes for an aerial there. That's insane. Flip reset over the guy's head. That's dirty. Boost spawns. He's awkward. He goes for a dude. The one thing I'm seeing about Dark that is ridiculous is even when the setup is awkward, this dude is still going for the setup. It is insane. I would never go for this because the ball is awkward for me. It's an awkward touch. But every time he goes for it, he does not care. He does not care. He is so mechanically consistent that he's just going for it every time. It's insane to me. Pop over the guy's head. Miserisa to the ceiling, bro. Double touch. See, if he had if he had done what I said he was going to do, he would have got dunked. He's just one step ahead constantly. Pop, first touch. One more higher, flip reset. Utilize it. Dude, T this flip reset is ridiculous because he's waiting to see what this Willy guy is going to do. And the second that Willy shows his hand and shows that he's jumping, not only does Dark get a flip reset, but he flip cancels through it like a speed flip to get two touches here. So it gets nice and high. So it goes over Willy and he utilizes it early enough because probably in his headphones, he heard Renzo and he goes, I'm going to have to do this early or else Renzo's going to dunk me. Gets the back right, has space and time. Catch. 
The dude pre-jumped. Dark, you know what? You know what is probably happening in this play? We don't really know because we're just kind of seeing one clip of this entire game, obviously. But I guarantee you Dark has been going high the entire game. And this guy thought he was going to go high again. I even thought Dark was going to pop this up. When this, when Dark had a free ball, look what happens. Opponent pre-jumps. He, he thinks Dark's going to go high. So Dark goes, I'm just going to catch it. I'm just going to keep it on the ground. You waste your boost, buddy. And then once this guy's wasted his boost, taking himself out the play right before he lands so he can't get back in the air now because momentum's going down, what does Dark do? He pops it in the air. Of course he does. Why would he not, right? Now this guy's low boost and he he's, has to be on the ground because his momentum's taking him down for half a second. He can't jump back up. So now Dark has a free ball and he probably goes for an air dribble bump. Yep. Nothing you can do about that. That is just so smart. It's not only mechanical, it's incredibly intelligent. Let's see what he does here. Catch, fake. Oh my, what a wizard flick. That is ridiculous. I hope you guys are learning from this as well. Like obviously we're looking at it and we're going, wow, this is so amazing. But at the same time, learn from it, right? Try your best to learn from this. Wait, did he just go for a Mac tough? Wait. Bro went for a Mac tough. Triple reset, quad, bro. He just got a Mac Tough quad reset, bro, and then faked it low. He didn't even use it. He got another Mac Tough. Pogo! Nah, nah, nah. This guy, this guy's dirty, man. This guy is dirty, man. I. This is ridiculous, bro. If this video hits a thousand likes, I will react to whatever player the top comment asks for in the next video.